I think I'm sitting in a rickshaw for really long. What even, about you? Even I'm sitting in a rickshaw for very long. Really? <laughs> this is proper Mumbai ka vibe. So today I have come to the fishing village of Mumbai, Varsova. This is the JP road basically. Okay. Uh, it's parallel to the you know Varsova beach. The end of it is the Koli village, okay. and there's a whole Koli market, and then obviously. Machi is everywhere there, and then you take the ferry and go to Mad Island. And today I am exploring Varsova, which is now turned into a neighborhood of bustling restaurants and full of vibe, with the music sensation and a local Varsova boy, Arman Malik. I have a lot of memories growing up because this is, I would say, most of my childhood is, has been here, spent here. I think it, it's a very close, close to my heart. This place, the whole street, and JP Road, Yari Road, Varsova, all of it is just heart for me. Okay, and today we will explore Arman's heart. Explore karenge. Let's go and explore Varsova. Come on. <laughs> With its peppy interiors and light and lively music, this 10-year-old jam jar diner completely evokes a go and feel. It's a very cute place actually and uh, my favourite part is uh, the jukebox that's right here. This is a memory uh, that I hold very close to my heart. I used to come with my friends and used to just hang around here, take cool pictures. you always been a Mumbai boy? Always been a Mumbai boy, always been a Varsova boy. I think since the age of like what say 7 or 8, I've been here in like Yari Road, Varsova area. Yeah. I've grown up here. Which school did you go to? I went to Jamnabai Nursery School in Juhu. I'll tell you a li little secret. Hmm. Everyone thinks that obviously, you know, Mumbai the street food is like very big. I've not had a lot of street food, oh, to be okay. honest. Because gali ka khayal rakhna tha, so I used to never, you know, risk having street food, street food. So the hummus here is served beautifully with fresh pita bread. I mean, it's so good that I don't feel like messing this plate. I'm loving this. Mm. And interestingly, yaha ek gamla bhi hai. It looks deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just a gamla, this is a flower pot surprise dessert, which comes with a crushed Oreos, brownies, ice cream, marshmallow chunks. And I have to admit, it is so delicious. Love that. Don't I love, I'm a, I'm a big, like, I have a big sweet tooth and I need to control that. So, singing kaise hui? How did you start singing? Singing started very early on for me. Hmm. I was three or four when I started, like, instead of talking, I was singing. And my parents saw that and they were like, wait, that's crazy. We should put him in classes. So then, mujhe, you know, music classes, I uh, enrolled kiya in uh, Indian classical. Hmm. At the age of four and five, I was learning Indian classical music. At that point of time, when I used to go for these classes, I used to come back and tell my mom and dad that this is heavy. Ho hai. Le, I can't do all this, it's too much. So then I started, you know, very slow, went to like a beginner course and stuff. By the age of eight, I decided kar liya tha ki I have to become a singer. So four to eight was like that whole period of me learning, getting, getting used to singing music and falling in love with it. And eight, I, was, I had decided ki I am going to become a singer. Do you remember your first song? In four years, I think Nanna Munna Rai. That was the first song. So my dad, Shri Sardar Malik, hmm. um, uh, my uncle, Anu Malik, my dad, Dabu Malik, my brother, Amal, all are composers. I'm the first singer from the family. Even in school and colleges, were you ever shy when people would tell you, Gakar so now or something, or were you always up for it? I mean, as kids are always embarrassed because parents said, okay, you know those, Aja beta kud gaake suna do, auntie ke liye. So that used to happen a lot. Hmm. And singers ke saath baut hota hai, aaj bhi hota hai. Uh, I was in uh, Delhi. Hmm. And I was uh, having some food, and some auntie came to my table and said, Beta, you have to So she took a photo and all first, courtesy. She said, I have to say, 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 I to say, I have 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 so yeah, well, now I auntie, I charge to sing. I don't sing like that. My okay. question is that singers are very easily asked to sing. Actors never say that you sing like that. I know. It never happens. We don't have to judge me. I'm going to sing a little bit. Let's go. If I'm going to sing my own song, then promote me. Don't worry. Okay, we'll do that. For now, let's enjoy this delicious food. I'm loving this. Hmm. I have a very lame joke, but I'm not going to say it. Should I? No, please go ahead. Whenever there's hummus in front of me, I always say, Hummus, tumse pyar. Oh. 
sorry. <laughs> Next stop is by the way which is right next to Jamja Diner and as the name suggests this place has a fantastic view of the sea but i have to admit the lively ambience and windy evenings it's quite a vibe Listen Varsova has some really nice places <laughs> <laughs> It's a full vibe honestly yeah. i uh, i've lived here for so many years but yeah. every month there's a new restaurant that's popping up and yeah. this this one i wanted to try but i've never come to it it's got a mad view though amazing of view of the sea so we you eat non veg right i eat yeah so let's try my recommendations this Chalo, time let's okay. go for it we'll have some chicken popcorn fish fingers some mocktails so let's get started yummy so we're having a lot of fried food i know <laughs> cheat cheat meal you're meeting a food blogger it has to, has to happen <laughs> <laughs> Song, like 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 professionally. Was 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 the the first song? Bam Bam was the first song? song. Yeah. How old were you back I then? I think I was 10. fame fame or Is is it easy, difficult to manage that or how, how does it work? I don't think anything is easy. Success isn't easy. A lot of people have this misconception कि यार success मिलता है तो life becomes all amazing. Yeah. But I think there's a layer of responsibility, layer of like uh, pressure also. Hmm. I never let it get to me. But uh, yeah, as a child, obviously, getting that much fame so early on, yeah. uh, even for me, was a little scary, and uh, it also meant that I had to give a lot of time to my work. So school me zada me, I should not be able to actually make a lot of friends or like go for parties or like go out yeah. because I was constantly school khatam hote hi I used to go for recordings and like music classes and stuff. So, but, but you were not complaining. अच्छा लग रहा था ये करने में यार लगता था बर्थडे पार्टी भी अटेंड नो आई मीन आई यूज्ड टू फाइट विद माय मॉम कि यार हम लोग क्यों जा रहे रिकॉर्डिंग पे एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ बट नाउ दैट आई सी इट यू नो इन हाइंडसाइड आई एम लाइक ओके बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आई एम हियर हु आई एम टुडे सो बट आई वांट लकी फॉर यू दैट यू नो आपका करियर टेक ऑफ कर गया कई बार यू नो यू सी पॉपुलैरिटी लाइक यू लुक एट आवर इंस्टाग्रामर्स और इन्फ्लुएंसर्स यू नो दे गेट पॉपुलर एट 19 Peak at 19 and they become irrelevant by 22. Yeah. You know, and then they have a life ahead of them. But uh, what I think is that uh, because you know there, there's this talent within me, hmm. whether the social media or not, we'll be able to, you know, make use of it and True. make sure that you know, as as long as I sing good songs, make good songs, that will help me further my career. I've never thought of the time that okay, bachpan me ho gaya, abhi aage kya. <laughs> I've I've honestly uh, just seen one day at a time and yeah. taken things in a flow. Yeah. I know a lot of careers peak and then fall very very you know soon after, yeah. which is why it's very important to if you if you actually are considering to take a career, if you're doing that, in today's day and age, you should have multiple small little you know different things happening together. That's what people are doing, diversifying. Yeah. Even for us as musicians, sirf singing, sirf music pe dhyan dena is not the only thing. Music business is also very important. you know which is why i've started my own label right so tomorrow when mm. i'm launching new artists myself that's a business model for me in addition to the musician that i am and then obviously i i have a uh, you know a thought to open my own restaurant i want to have a clothing line of my own so okay. these are all little different things that are you know additional things to me as a musician as a singer right the, the new singles right that you've just launched so it can tell me more uh, it, it's a very uh, very very close to my heart song it's a song called you mm-hmm. which i released uh, on jan 7th earlier this year so when i made the english song i always thought ki yaar iska hindi version kaisa lagega mm-hmm. so i had made one and kept it but kabhi release nahi kiya so finally we have released that as a spotify singles it's called tu and uh, it's the hindi version of my english song you so yeah people are loving it right now and uh, i hope that it gets the same love as the english one as well Can I be that auntie जो आपको बोले कि बेटा जरा गा कर सुना दो <laughs> oh God, खा कर बता दो गा कर सुना दो नहीं आज ठीक है चलो गा लेता हूँ दोनों भी जो किसी का हुआ ना तेरा हो गया तू हर बहाना मेरा हो गया तेरे सिवा एक पर भी किसी को ना दूँ Mm, all I do is think about you. Sab mil gaya jab se mila tu. All I do is think about kya hota mera 
जो ना होता मेरे साथ तू सो ऑल ऑफ यू थिंक अबाउट यू ब्यूटिफुल टेल मी समथिंग मैं हमेशा सोचती हूं मुझे लगता है ऑल सिंगर्स आर वेरी रोमांटिक आई एम वेरी रोमांटिक यू आर आई बिलीव इन दैट ओल्ड स्कूल रोमांस हम you know like going for a date with like a bouquet and like you know doing a date on the beach and you know having like a layout and stuff like that very very like that vibe i love love honestly and a lot of people ask me why do i sing a lot of romantic songs love songs i just love the emotion of love i think it's a beautiful feeling yeah. and emotion yeah. and i best express it through my voice and and how often do you uh, feel this emotion i feel it a lot <laughs> <laughs> for the same person or different people <laughs> <laughs> she's putting me on the spot right now for my two for my you oh, okay <laughs> i have to say main kab se varsova ki beauty enjoy kar rahi hu as i enjoy your conversation as well isn't this also a place where a lot of newcomers who want who are like getting it trying to get into the industry they also come and set their base here in varsova a lot of people varsova and lokhanwala are two spots yeah. where everyone from like the tv and the film industry is yeah. there so there was this joint uh, just opposite uh, this place yeah chai coffee karke ek uh, place hoti thi yahan pe Haan. and abhi nahi hai but bahut matlab thode saal pehle hoti thi and wahan pe a lot of people used to discuss scripts and like you know casting stuff used to happen there and i used to always be, be with my friends and i used to listen kya ho raha hai next table pe <laughs> which films being discussed which acting you know which casting is uh, being yeah. discussed so yeah like the film industry and tv industry is like very like this is the nucleus yari road and like lokhanwala okay. yahan pe sab log ek sath hai i want to explore more of varsova where else can we go well there's another spot which is super close to my house okay uh, it's literally in my gully mm. <laughs> so okay. i think we should go there i think rickshaw mein chalte hain Really long. What even, about you? Even I'm sitting in a rickshaw after very long. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any memories of auto rickshaw traveling in auto rickshaw? Because this is such an intrinsic part of Mumbai. Of Mumbai, hundred percent. I've I've uh, always, I mean, like tuitions, classes. Huh. I have always gone uh, in the rickshaw, but my parents were very protective of me, so they used to never let me like go always. But I used to, I mean, friends and kids, I used to always like. Hello, let's go and all. And, have and, fun. And what about bus and train? Have you traveled? But no, bus and train. I'm not. No, you're no. not. I'm the spoiled kid. <laughs> <laughs> next, next, I'm taking you to a local train. You have to dodge the I crowd. <laughs> local train will be fun. I've never done it, but I'm down. But rickshaw rides I really love. Yeah, and it's fun. और जब बारिश हो रही हो तो और भी अच्छा होता है. ये बात अलग ही कपड़े सारे गंदे हो जाते हैं. कपड़े गंदे, गीले सब हो जाते हैं. For me, it's not. I love like the vibe. Yeah. This is proper Mumbai ka vibe. The Bomecha House is a very cute sa family-run cafe hai and has got total homely vibe. And as I said, a family-run cafe, the owner will surely give you full mom feels. The interiors are quite quirky with bare brick walls holding family photos and bookshelves. How much time do you spend on it? So like I said before also I spend almost like what 6 to 8 hours uh, but I'm like scrolling through reels only to know what kind of music is like trending and what kind of music is happening and people are listening to so that you know we can also kind of like make music like that because you know you need to really target like the audience and like the fans who are listening to the current music right now I think our waffles are here so then we can't control ourselves No now we can't <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Should we dig in? Oh, yeah. Can can we get another fork and knife? Pancakes here are fluffy and soft and I'm going to have it with blueberry sauce and a dollop of whipped cream. I totally love the aroma of this freshly baked waffle. Bina chocolate sauce drizzle kiye, how can you truly enjoy this? I can see your passion now for food. Yes. Like every time you have something really sweet in front of you, that's where this is coming. Guys, oh my god. This is really good. Highly recommended. Arman's personal recommendation. <laughs> so while you enjoy this pancake, main aapke sath ek game khelna chahungi. Hmm. I'm going to give you a situation. Hmm. Aur aapko situation ke hisab se batana hai. Aap kaun sa gana us situation ko dedicate karo. Okay. Chalo. Okay. So the first one. If you had to woo a pretty girl at a party, which song would you sing? Ke main hu hero tera 
हाँ मैं हूँ हीरो तेरा हाँ पढ़ गई लड़की पढ़ गई ओके अ सॉन्ग यू वुड सिंग व्हेन यू आर सुपर हंग्री और हंग्री कुछ है जुनून सा कुछ पागल पन है सौ बातें करता ये बुद्धू सामन है ओके अ सॉन्ग दैट डिस्क्राइब्स योर बॉन्ड विद योर बेस्ट फ्रेंड साल बदला हाल बदला तेरे आने से जिंदगी का ख्याल बदला तेरे आने से इट्स इट्स पार्ट ऑफ अ सॉन्ग कॉल्ड ठहर जा अ सॉन्ग फॉर द लव ऑफ योर लाइफ आई मीन आई डोंट इवन नीड टू थिंक अबाउट दैट आई कैन जस्ट सिंग इट ओके गो ऑन जो किसी का हुआ ना तेरा हो गया तू हर बहाना मेरा हो गया तेरे सिवा एक पल भी किसी को ना दू